Good day everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this tutorial video, we want to demonstrate how to make publication quality table with this simple stator command. For those of us familiar with stator, we know that when we copy our regression from the software, it doesn't look all too attractive or in a publishable way and requires rigorous formatting. But there are a number of commands out there that can be adopted to produce quality table, I mean publication quality table. One of those commands is Outrack2. Now, Outrack2 allows you to make table and that are exportable in either document form or Excel format. Okay, without wasting much of our time, I'd like to demonstrate how to use this command. Now, Outrack2 is a user written command and need to be installed in Stata software before you can use it. And how do you use it? You're going to type this code ssc install. How track to and then you click on the enter button. Now make sure you are connected uh, to the internet to be able to do this. All right, we have it all installed and we can start. Uh, now the first thing you do is to run your normal regression. Yes, in this case, uh, okay, I have my do file here and now I am going to enlarge it for us to see clearly. Now, uh, this is the regression that I want to run. Yeah, I want to run pull OLS. I have a couple of regression here. Okay, then I'm going to demonstrate. Uh, this is pull OLS. This is the first regression I want to run. Immediately after the regression, I have my how trade command. And then using panel.doc. Now, the panel is the name of the file, the name of the document. Okay, dot doc. Doc is saying that present it in document format. Okay, so if you like to name your own A, a, okay, it's going to be a dot doc. The dot doc a saying make sure the table is presented in what format. Then C title is the column title. I want to name it pull OLS and then replace. Uh, this replace simply means that uh, the current regression should override the previous one. Okay, so if we have uh, a regression, uh, a, a regression already named panel dot doc, I'm saying that replace this uh, regression with the previous one is that clear and then i have st this is fixed effect okay immediately after the regression you see my outro too yeah now this is the name of the doc now out text this 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 uh this uh command is so flexible that you can add text okay to your regression table so i'm saying that yeah fixed effect yes random effect no and then there's column tie two okay fix effect and then happen append is saying that had this result to the first one okay so i'm saying that present uh this result in the same table as this so present it in another column this result is going to be in a column then this should be in another column i will demonstrate that the same thing is applicable to this regression the last regression random effect outrack two using panel dot doc we have the same uh, document file then i had a test to it then column type to append. Append means had and had color had had to the uh, previous regression. Okay, so it means it will have three regressions, uh, three column, three regressions in three different columns. Okay, I'm going to copy this do file and then I'm going to uh, place them in the command window for us to see how it works out. Okay, uh, so I'm going to paste them here for you to see. I could have run, run it here, but and then I, I decided to just bring it down here. You click on the enter button, and then you see the regression here. If you look at your uh, your stata output, you see panel.doc. Yes, this is your uh, your table, your output, your stata output presented in document format. So just come here and click on it. When you click on it, it's going to pop up, open the word document containing your regression model. Voila, you see, you have your result presented in a in what format? Poor LS, that's the column type to fix effect. Oh, this is fix effect. Ah, uh, I thought I changed it to random effect. Let's go back. Let's go back to the uh, let's go back to the okay 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 i'm going to change this here to random and see how that works out random i'm also going to show you something that you need to be careful of when you're doing this so i'm going to copy this 
and I'm going to run it. It's likely that I will run into an error and I'll tell you why. Okay, you see, file using panel.doc is read only, cannot be modified or erased. This is because I already opened the, uh, the document file on the system. So if you're doing this, we need to close the document file and then you run it again. So if I run this again, there should be no problem. You see, just fine. Click on the panel.doc uh, uh, and then you will see the result pop up. You see. So you have your result presented in a table. Don't mind this. Okay, you have poor LS fixed effect, you have random effect. Okay, observation 200 R squared number of fixed effect. Yes, no, these are the test we added to the code. Is that clear? All right, uh, this is in the word format. It could also be exported in Excel format that I'm going to uh, show to you shortly. Uh, okay, so here now, you will see uh, it's the same regression, but then I want this result to be presented in an Excel format. So you see here, panel.excel, XL, XX. This is Excel syntax, okay? So I'm saying that this result should be exported in Excel. So I can copy this. I can I can run it directly here. Okay, but I would like to copy it in the command window for you to see. And then I just paste it here. And then I run it. Okay, so here, yeah, just call me and click on this highlighted uh highlighted test and see what we have. You see, we have our result in a Excel format. This can be copied in Excel and formatted, and then you have a uh, little or no editing to to do. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. If this makes some sense to you, uh, click on the subscribe button, share with friends, and uh, I see you in my next video. Thank you.